Welcome to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie, and I have a little adventure to share with you. For several years, we had a wonderful breeding pair of brush-tailed batongs. That's a critically endangered marsupial native to Australia. Quigley and Babette were their names, and they were awesome. While we had them, we were placing their joeys in other educational facilities where they educate, and they'd also go on into breeding programs where they'd make babies of their own, and all their future would be happy and bright. Yay! And we were so grateful to be part of this amazing conservation effort. We first started having, like, thoughts about our situation about four months ago when our fourth Joey Dundee, we started having trouble finding him a home. After five homes fell through, I mean five homes fell through, we decided to put the brakes on it and just keep him temporarily. So then Babette got a fifth Joey in her pouch, Sydney. And we looked for homes for her as well and she wasn't ready to go yet. So Augusto and I sat down and we talked and we thought, and we discussed things, and we decided that it was best to send our breeding pair onto a facility that could devote 100% of their time, or an employee's time, to making that conservation effort work. Even though we 100% support breeding in captivity for endangered species, that's not Animal Wonder's mission. Our mission is to rescue animals, so we felt it was it was the right decision for Animal Wonders and for the Batongs and for the species as a whole. So we started making some phone calls and we called, contacted the facility where we got Quigley from originally and we asked them if they had room to take him and Babette back and they said yes. They were very interested because they had just lost their colony in a, a, a tragic thing that happened and so they had the open enclosure, the open space, and they were really excited to be able to, to start again. And then we got a phone call from one of the potential homes for Dundee that had fallen through saying that they had another contact for a facility that had a young female named April and she was looking for um, a mate, a male. And so we contacted them. Wonderful facility. I, I couldn't think of a better place for Dundee to go to. It's, a, it's open to the public, it's free, open to the public, kind of like a, a mini zoo, and they do conservation breeding programs and education. It, it's just a perfect fit. So everything was set. So now it's time to figure out how to get these batons to their new homes. We contacted the airport, Delta, and we said, okay, we have to ship these guys off to these locations, and we, we set up the date and time. So. The flight was set to leave at 6.10 a.m. We have to get there two hours before, but they don't open until 4.30. So we got there at 4.30 a.m. But to get there at 4.30 a.m. means we have to leave the house at 3.30 a.m., which means we have to start getting them packed up at 3 a.m. And that's where I'm going to leave you, 3 a.m. in the morning. Let's go on an adventure. It is 3 a.m. Actually, it's 3.18 a.m. And we're getting ready to bring the batons to the airport. Uh, we have decided to ship them off to other facilities. Um, and it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of a, a good thing. It's a really good thing. Quigley and Babette are going together and um, and their little Joey, whatever it is, in the pouch are all going to the same facility and hopefully they're going to transition well and continue to have little Joeys and um, our seven month old male Dundee is also going to another facility. Oh, I'm so excited about that one because he's going to go meet up with a girlfriend there and it's a really, really nice facility and um, hopefully they make little friendly little babies too. So we're going to pack them all up and uh, ship them off, give them their best, uh, best shot in life as in, in for the species as a whole. So I have two crates here. Um, this one's going to be for Dundee and it's got his blanket that he's been using for the last couple days so his scent is going to be there and also has some shredded paper to him to bundle up in. He has food and then I'm not going to put water in there. Uh, they're going to sleep all day. They're going to sleep because they're nocturnal. Um, but I do have some juicy fruits in there in case they get thirsty. And then Quigley and Babette have this one here, um, a little bit bigger and a divider in there so that they can get away from each other if they want to. Also a bunch of shredded paper and their old 
um, one of their old blankets that they've been using for the last week. So their scent will be in there as well, hopefully make it a smooth transition for them. That's what we've got going for them right now. I'm gonna go get them and um, get them into the crates. What do you think, bud? Hi, handsome. Hi. I know, it's nighttime, we're gonna come here. So the last couple days Dundee has gotten really um, mature and excitable and he was living with his little sister Sydney and that wasn't working out anymore. They, he, he got too mature. He matured. He was uh, trying to reproduce with her. So we had to move him out and we put him in temporary holding in our hallway and um, this is what he's done to it. <laughs> He thought the plant was awesome, B.E., and I just let him do it because what's the harm in a little dirt? So I'm going to go grab him right now. He's hiding out over here because I turned the light on. All right, Dundee, ready to go? You're going to get a girlfriend. Has been one of our best Joeys so far. It's kind of hard to see him go. You're going to be an... Awesome ambassador, where you go. What's your tail? So Babette came to us and she really did not like to be touched at all. She came to us when she was about two years old and we've never um, worked towards handling her. We just kind of let her be and that's fine. Um, the way that I'm going to handle her is I'm going to put gloves on because they have very, very sharp teeth and very powerful back legs with, with intense claws. So she could injure me pretty bad. Um, I'm going to um, pick her up by the base of her tail and try and get her hand, your, her feet to support her feet on me and then quickly transfer her into, crate, into the crate. That's the plan. We'll see. And I have to also have to be really careful because she does have a joey in the pouch. So you can see that Babette was not handled when she was younger, and you can see it's, it's pretty stressful for her to be handled by a human. Um, so Quigley, on the other hand, he was much calmer, and he was, all, he was hand raised. So that's the reason that we pull the joeys from being finished off by their mothers, and uh, we hand raise them for the last week that they would drink milk. Less stressful. All right, guys. It's also nighttime, so it's it's when these guys are most awake and most active. And putting them in a smaller, you know, cozy area, they're going to be a little upset at first. Um, but during the flight, they're going to fall asleep since they're nocturnal, and hopefully they'll have a nice, just drowsy flight. All right, we're ready to go. So we want to avoid the heat of the day. These guys are going to Nevada and Texas and it's getting really hot there. I mean, it's, it's the beginning of summer. And it's getting really hot there during the afternoons. So um, Quigley and Babette are scheduled to arrive at 1130 in the morning in Nevada and Dundee is going to get there just after noon. So we'll avoid the heat of the day, which is really important when, when you're shipping animals. You want to avoid that. <laughs> I know. I'm so distracted. I'm tired of this.
I thought it was going to be. Why do you think? Uh, I think it's just because I've had an emotional connection with them. Um, I mean, these, these are not my pets, but I kind of consider them friends. I raised Dundee and saying goodbye to a friend. That's it's hard. But I know they're going to go to a good place. I don't know, it's just... Whew. I'm not very practiced at saying goodbye to animals. I take them in and rescue them. It's a... Uh, I'm not used to it. Okay, I'm going to start crying. Okay. Whew. It's a new adventure for them. New adventure for us. Life is full of different experiences. Definitely miss them. It was quite an experience getting to be part of this. <laughs> Cool.